You got one waffle, two waffle, and three waffle. And there you go, man. That is a filling meal. Two whole eggs, 300 milliliters of egg whites, two rashes of turkey bacon, maybe a little bit less than two rashes, and three waffles. It's just left Iceland, I got a few pickups. I'll probably show you when I get in. I got prawns, sweet potatoes, some waffles. So it's full day of eating. I haven't ate anything yet. It's currently 2.30. Those of you know I like having my foods later on in the day because I used to do a lot of intermittent fasting. So I prefer to really eat later on in the day. So all I've had so far is water. But before I can go home, you, like listen to this madness. Virgin Media is meant to like send me like a new box. I'm getting like a, a better bra brand so more that I can upload videos faster for you guys. And the person that came said he came when I was in the shower and I didn't hear the door. And he says if I want my package, I have to go to his house and pick it up or wait till Monday. Like bitch, he's, he, why you? Why am I? I've never heard a delivery man say I have to go to his house to get my package. So I'm on my way. I'm basically I'm driving to my. Yodel delivery person's house to get my package which he should deliver to me which he says he rang on my doorbell Oh no, he sounds kind of dodgy to me. So if I got killed and murdered remember me while on YouTube videos I'm gonna ring this guy now He's not picking up his phone no, I won't be able to come back today mate All right, well, I'm coming now then I'll probably be in like 10 minutes Then it's okay. I tell my daughter she will give you because I'm going somewhere else now. Okay, let your parcel in my home address Okay. Right, people, we are pulling up onto the guy's road. Hopefully, I'm not going to get murdered out in this bitch. I really feel like, seeing as I had to go collect my package myself, that his daughter... Your destination is on the left. Oh, there you go. I feel like his daughter should be the most beautiful girl on the planet, just to kind of make up for the... Funny story, I pulled up to the wrong house first, and I pulled up to this white... <laughs> This old white woman's house, and they look, look at me right now. When I pulled up to that house, this is the wrong house, I was thinking, the guy on the phone sounded Indian, so I was like, why are white people here? And they had one dog that was barking like nobody's business, like, I mean, ow, ow, ow. As I said in my last video, we're gonna eyeball this bitch. Uh, I'm gonna put in 300 milliliters of this. I've been doing it enough that I kind of know what 300 milliliters is. Let's get this part in a row. That's about 300. 100. I also put in things like mixed peppers and cayenne pepper, but I don't really track these. These are little, little things that I put like a little dash on just to give it like a little bit of spice. A good tip as well, cayenne pepper, adding it to some of your foods because Spicier foods help like you, they make you salivate more, they're like saliva. And those apparently break down foods quicker and stuff like that. And also, another thing of it is that spicier foods make you feel like you're more full. Egg's almost done. I'm also going to add a splash of this to give it a little bit of flavor. And that's enough. And the eggs are basically done now. Next up is the waffles. And I'm gonna enjoy these bitches. Uh, -da -da. So I'm having three waffles. This is actually gonna be quite a big breakfast. It's 200. The whole day is like 200 calories, but the foods I eat, especially because I eat later in the day and I have the chunks uh, close together, they do fill you up. Like I never feel hungry at the end of the day. And if I do, just gobbling down water really, really does help. Yeah, let's pour out these games. You see the volume when you see it on the plate how much it actually is. So trust me bruh, I ain't starving in these streets. And then we had the waffles. We got one waffle, two waffle, and three waffle. Really I need a bigger plate to be fair, as you can see. Anyway, we haven't got to the final ingredients. We've got the peanut butter and the near zero uh, pancake syrup. So that's going to be a nice little touch. We only add like a tiny bit though. All we do is add, oh shit, all we do is add one tablespoon and I just mix it over the multiple amount of waffles. Normally I used to probably have this meal like broken into bits, like I'd have the eggs first and then have the waffles probably like at 30 minutes later. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to more or less do a test, this is the uh, peanut butter by the way, I'm trying to do a test, it's about, it's about a uh, third. Um, I'm trying to do a test more or less to see if I eat all in one go, if it fills me up longer in total. That's all that I put peanut butter on two of the waffles. It's about one tablespoon total. And the third waffle, I just kind of rub it on top of one of these. Like so. And there you go, we got splits. So we got waffles, 
full of uh, flavor. 2.45, it's gonna be my first meal on a Saturday. Oh, Syrup only put on a little bit. It's near zero anyway, but yeah. Put a little bit, a little bit there. Dollop, one dollop on each. And there you go, man. That is a filling meal. Two whole eggs, 300 milliliters of egg whites, two rashes of tea bacon, maybe a little bit less than two rashes, and three waffles. Trust me, this is going to fill me up for a good chunk of time. Normally I eat the eggs first, but I'm gonna eat a waffle first, uh, just for you guys. Mm. Mm, I'll stop them together. Okay, adding this into my fitness pal, comes up to 785 calories. Breakdown of this meal, here it is. Uh, so it's 20, well, it was 40 grams of carbs, 29 grams of fat, and 81 grams of protein. People, oh, my belly is full. It's my last bite I got left. So damn good. Chef TJ with the pot, boy. Oh, oh. All right, it's time to get this sorted. On your marks. All right, so I'm about to set this up. Ah, so hopefully I can start bootlegging movies as much. Anyways, I will get back to you with my next meal. So I'll see you when this is done. All right, the virgin guy on the phone said it's gonna take around 15 minutes for that stuff to all get set up. Ah, forgive me. And uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna maybe try and edit the beginning of this video. Uh, see how the footage came out so far and then maybe start getting ready for my next meal. And a cup of sweet potato. I'm not gonna eat the fries that I bought. I'm gonna have a real potato purely because my macros uh, didn't fit having those ones because I want to eat more food today so I have to have one with less fat and stuff so I'm going for a real sweet potato I'm going to chop it myself it's very easy to cut to be honest it's just been on the rush that's why I like having the frozen pack in my fridge finally got the virgin set up and I'm going to be watching so many shows and movies uh, Marvel's Age of Shield I'm coming back for you I'm watching now I'm watching yo <gasps> Dragon Ball Z like even though Goku got me into lifting, okay, Vegeta is the motherfucking oh boss. Alright people, it is just after half five and here is the next meal. It's going to be oats with peanut butter. And we're going to be having it with almond milk. If you like these full days of eatings, be sure to follow me on Snapchat because I show a lot of my foods most of the time. And I've been more or less updating my Snapchat people today with what's been going on. I am I'm debating today, filming a full day of eating. I saw some new pickles here I didn't even see before. They sell sweet potato mash. I didn't buy it this time, but I didn't see that the first time. Sure it was a new product. It just is. Follow my Snapchat to keep informed. Anyway, when that's done, I'm about to knock that down me now. And what we're having later on, I can show you guys what that's doing. Uh, I have got 500 grams of tilapia and some king, well, fresh prawns that I'm gonna make into probably a stir fry with some rice. And there you go, there's the consistency. Uh, obviously, this does usually taste better with uh, regular milk, but the taste with almond milk isn't too bad. You can't really tell. If milk was, if it was like a 10, almond milk would be like a 7. And uh, what we're going to do now is add in, ooh, geez, add in a little bit of peanut butter, uh, protein. Uh, this is the reflex one. Oh shit. And we're going to add in around just under a scoop. You know what, we're going to add in one scoop. There you go, scoop of that protein in there. And we're also gonna add a spoon of the peanut butter to give it an extra taste. So of this here, I'm probably gonna add around two thirds of this and that'll be just about a tablespoon. And here you go people, I'm gonna knock that down me now as you can see. Ah, it's hot. Mm. Mm, tastes good. And there you go, protein oats. So I'm going to eat this right now, then after this I'm going to start prepping the next meal, which is the prawns, sweet potatoes and tilapia meal. And this puts us at 333 extra calories and in total 1,121. Alright, <clears throat> hold on people, that's not that down me right now. I only took like about 5 minutes to eat. So I'm going to drink like another jug of my water to make sure my stomach doesn't feel like any after hunger pains. Hunger pains? Any hunger cravings. All right, let's weigh this bitch. So we can have a rough idea. So now I know uh, sweet potatoes this size are around 284 uh, grams. Remember what I said in the last video about remembering portion sizes? Now, you, now in my head, this is kind of memorized. This kind of size and thickness is around 284 grams. Uh, usually I try and get them like 
bit longer, but I always like this thick, purely because they're a lot easier to chop. Like when they're like super, super thick, and they're like loads of those, they're damn near like a circle. It takes so, so hard to chop them, whereas these, fairly slim, chop, chop, chop. No, no long time. Obviously, you don't know where this bin, so you gotta wash the outside. Especially, especially if you're gonna eat the skin, you need to wash. As you can see, the prawns are already weighed out, so you can see a quarter of a kilo is already there. And in this bag, I already know that I had half of the serp. In this bag, I already know I had frozen uh, 500 grams of tilapia, so I don't need to weigh them out. Alright, you gotta open the bag. Actually, before I cut the fish, if the fish it doesn't take that long to cook, I'm gonna actually chop the potatoes, because I'm gonna be putting them in the oven, and they take around. 30 minutes in the oven to cook, so it makes sense to like start cooking this first. So while we're, I'm prepping the fish, this is already half done. It's good to try and chop them around the same sort of width, so each one cut, cooks around the same amount of time, so you don't get some that burn up quicker than others. And there you go, all I'm going to do now, put them into the pan. The last thing I cooked on here was sweet potatoes, so don't worry if it's a bit greasy. Uh, put them in the pan. I oil the pan slightly, um, just so it doesn't stick. Add in my two favorite ingredients, my basic go-tos, is the mixed herbs and the cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. Now you gotta do the mix up with your hand. All right. That's in the oven, I'm gonna put it on 200 on my thing, 200 Celsius, and now I'll cook the fish. With the fish, be sure you monitor it and turn it over. So I'm going to flip this once, then I'm going to start on the rest of the food that's going to go with it, like the rice and veg. Or just flip it, and then after a while, you can also just like break them up. Like I never keep them as a big fillet. After they get a bit more cooked, I normally just start chopping them like that, just to break them up. It's easier when you mix it with the rice and everything, rather than keeping them as the full fillet. And get two of these. These are the microwavable Mediterranean, no, microwavable Mexican veg. So I'm going to put them in the microwave for about five seconds. Five seconds, five minutes, sorry. Veg. Uh, the veg I'll be using is my faves, you should know. Oh, so tempted to eat some of those sweet potatoes. Buy them tomorrow. By the way, if I remember correctly, these prawns are already cooked, so really all you gotta do is heat them through. So you put them in last, so I put these in one of the last things, just so, because prawns, if you overcook prawns, they taste like rubber. They tip with the tilapia, when it's more close to being cooked, they chop way much easier. See how easy it was to chop then? Before it was a little bit harder, so when it's easy to chop like that, it means that it's starting to cook, so you can start mixing it up and get ready to put the other side stuff you're gonna put in. So that's a quick tip. Uh, this was from uh, mosfood.com. I'll probably have my stuff on screen in case you want to buy any. But yeah, this is more. This fish so far is basically kind of cooked, but it'll still be on here for like another five to seven minutes. Now for the veg, the aim is we want to scale ready. I want to have about 120 grams per serving, and because this whole meal that I'm cooking right now is meant to last three days, everything I'm doing, I'm doing it if it's a third of a day. So for example, I'm not going to weigh out 120, I'm going to weigh out like 360, but a little bit more, because I've noticed that when it cooks, it kind of goes down in weight. So basically, because when it's frozen, it's heavier. So basically what I'm going to do is put in probably about 400 grams of this, pour it out, and then add that to the mix. Okay, we're at 320, come on. Go on, get closer to the 400. I don't care if it's like 380 or 390, but just a little bit more. Hey, hey, that, that's enough. 395. Patiently have the veg just waiting on the side, ready to. Now I'm gonna add the veg in first uh, because the veg, because it's frozen. Ooh, the rice is ready. But the veg, because it's frozen, uh, does add like a lot of moisture to it. So I like putting the veg in first. So when all the extra liquid and water comes in, I can drain it out before I add in the rice. Okay, add in two packs of this. All right, hope you're liking this chef in so far. Anyway, the last thing to add in now is the prawn. Oh, this is gonna be banging, and that's a good thing. Ooh. 
this stuff's more or less cooked now so I'm gonna more or less put the lid on turn down the heat a bit and probably come back and eat in about five minutes right while that simmers let's put this in my fitness pal basically remember what I said all you do is like a third of everything so the easiest way is the whole lot of everything I put in just divided by three that added 600 calories uh, let's see what my macros are for the day right if you look at them my goals are pretty damn almost spot on so I'm at 33% of my carbs, 27 fats and 40% protein and as you can see next to the goal right next to it is very close uh, I'm not sure if I said the macros I'm actually um, aiming for today the macros I'm actually aiming for is my carbs down so I'm aiming for 165 carbs um, 210 grams of protein but anything over 195 I'm happy with and with fats I try and aim for 100 with fats, I'm aiming for 55. So far, we're looking at what? Uh, 139 grams of carbs, 59, 51 fat, and 164 grams of protein. So, yeah, I'm doing alright so far. Alright, oh, let's have a quick, quick pin. Yeah. Ah, damn, it's hot. I'm gonna sneak a prawn. There you go, that one. Come on, say it. Tastes really fresh, say <laughs> It tastes like the sea. Tastes like I'm in Ariel. Alright, now it's basically 8 o'clock. Okay, as for this now, as I said, I'm not going to weigh this again. I'm literally just going to do like a nice third. It's going to be as accurate as I need to be, really. I'm just going to put this into thirds now. So one for today, one for tomorrow, one for the next day. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is basically dish out a third, so I know how much a third is, and then put about <laughs> half of that third in a bowl just for me to eat later on today. So I don't get peckish later on, because I think after this, all I've got left really is to have like a protein shake or something like that. Third is about that much. And that is about a third of the portion of rice and stuff. And then I've obviously almost forgot about my sweet potatoes down here. Uh, but it comes to these. Take about two thirds. And there you go, more or less just put the rest in there. I'm just going to have a little nibble later on today, which I'm not going to actually eat that. But yeah, that is what I'm going to chomp down on now. And I'll add this into my finish plan. I'll just show you the end total at the very end of the day. Right people, my sweet tooth is kicking in, so I think I need to go buy something uh, that's low calorie that I can eat that's sweet. I've already got it in mind, so let's... Why would you do that, you dickhead? <laughs> Damn prick. <laughs> anyway, we're going to skip this door. And we're here to get jelly. I haven't got any six for three pound. Uh, the good ones I know of are apple and watermelon are tasty as hell, so I'm going to get probably three or four of those. Chances are I'll probably get, like, probably, I'm trying to think, six... I probably have two or three today, so I got. I'm gonna get three of the apple ones. Uh, uh, where's strawberry? That one's nice too. Have they got any strawberry left? No, but they've got raspberry and cranberry. So I've got raspberry and cranberries. Got one of those. Uh, cranberry and raspberry again. Is there any plain raspberry? Yep, there is. So far, oh, I've got the six. So I've got the six. Okay, that's a bargain. Get that for work. Twenty-two packs. I do prefer getting my own uh, chicken and vegetable stir fry, but I wouldn't mind putting this in the freezer. But I can have these, with, have these with the prawns I bought from Iceland earlier and have like a really quick meal. When it's quick and easy, when I haven't got time to cook. So yeah. All right, people, as you saw, I've got my stuff and I'm ready to go now. Um, so yeah, I was only came in to get jelly and I got a few other things. Uh, all the stuff came at around eight pound. Uh, but yeah, shouts out to 24 Hour Tesco. It is like 10 something now. The real benefit as well about like eating like food that actually fills you up and learning what foods fill you up more than others is that it really stops you wanting to snack because I kind of want to snack on something but I feel kind of so full that it doesn't really make sense to you so a jelly is going to be enough. Okay when it comes to these oats or simple packets it's always better and cost effective to get like a pack of oats. But when I'm at work, this is just so much easier. So literally for the ease of simplicity, I'm going to get these for work. As soon as these small packs finish at home, I think I'm probably not going to restock these. I'm just going to go back to having my regular uh, oats. But these are definitely... If anything, I might just take these to work as well and just have all these both for work. Anywho, I'm about to have two jellies. I'm going to have a cranberry and raspberry and an apple and watermelon. And I'm gonna have those my two treats today. Mm. Just finished having some of the the last bit of the uh, stir fry thing. And anyway, the last meal of today is the protein shake. I'm gonna be having it with water today, not the almond milk, just to save the rest of the calories. And then I'll show you what it is. I'll probably show the macros on screen right now of where we at. 
So we're doing two scoops of the Reflex uh, Whey Protein. I'm kind of stopping this protein all day, and really the water. And luckily, this protein tastes good in water, so it, I really can't taste a massive difference. However, I don't. Um, I wouldn't add the banana like I usually do with water. And then, all right, and that's more or less concluding this full day of eating, people. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and I showed you different foods than normal. Mm. And uh, it's sweet as well. But yeah, so basically, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more day of eating, if you want to see more full day of eating, be sure to comment below, hashtag more day of eating, and I'll make sure to keep doing them. So the more I kind of see that comment, let me know people are getting to the end of the video and they want to see more of what I've been doing. So anyway, peace out, stay getting games. And that is still there. Like the video if you think I'm a dickhead, or reduce, or like the video if you thought the video was good. Peace. Alright people, so here's what we're ending it at. And it looks like I can also fit in another waffle and still kind of fit it in. So here's where we are. I didn't hit my protein, but I kind of got my fats and my carbs on smash. Uh, but I'm still happy with getting 187 grams of protein anyway. So anyway, that is the rest of the video. Peace out.